So, as many of you have noticed that I have begun to start um, exploring YouTube and uh, addressing uh, hate, um, particularly that of uh, Tommy Robinson, who is um, equivalent to a white supremacist that we see here in America, uh, there in the UK. I challenged Tommy to an on-air on debate on Islam. Um, and on uh, the hate that he is spreading out, uh, that he's attempting to spread out through that um, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful people. Um, I've done my work and I question that those um, who have so much hate in their hearts and denying and ignoring um, and criminalizing the humanity of others that uh, I've questioned if they've done their work. And I will safely say that they have not done their work. Um, I've uh, worked with Muslim brothers and sisters around issues of justice and um, learned a great deal there at the UN and also um, with an agency called Shoulder to Shoulder. So I say that to say again that I've done my work. When you have done your work, um, then uh, we can have a conversation. Um, but I do challenge Mr. Tommy Robinson to uh, on-air debate. Um, so if anyone there in London uh, would like to air um, a debate between uh, a seminary graduate, someone who had done work around interfaith movements, um, and Mr. Robinson, um, then by all means, let's do it. Tommy, bring it, brother. If you're man enough, bring it. Um, so with that said, you made some statements that um, Islam is um, a religion of violence, a religion that only talks about violence in, within its Quran. Um, I want to address uh, uh, the beginning. The be and the beginning for us as humanity is our creation. Um, Islam very much uh, believes in um, creation's or humanity's responsibility um, to care for the planet. I addressed this in a paper that I wrote um, on uh, the 9th, um, 15 of 2016. I said the emphasis that all humanity and that all living things are functioning in the forms um, is according to the concept of mechanical view, which is um, a belief that we are all forms of consciousness that is greater than ourselves. Um, my paper, um, says this and connects us to humanity. Um, but I will go a step for a step further and say that this connects us all to to all things. Karen Warren, a uh, philosopher, um, emphasizes that the importance of humanities knowing its place in creation's identity. For it is creation itself that has creation and is living. It is existence more than what lives in our barriers more than what lives out in human experience. The Buddhist and eco-feminism, sacred matter, um, sacred mother, raises the issue of how much humanity, humanity is inserting itself into the fabric of creation's identity and genetics. She names our collective denial as being what, what connects us to every living thing. Um, and that not doing that is a betrayal um, of Mother Earth, God, and one another. In the Buddhist belief, it is all parts that we are connected to, not just see this connection, but be a betrayal of our, of our responsibility, while yet easily searching the universe for a replacement planet. Nature's role and our role in creation is the ideological language, living and functioning throughout existence, also found to play in major roles of Hinduism. Um, 
in the Quran, it states that to him, all things in heaven and all things on earth. And it's enough that in Allah, that to him that all belongeth, that all dwelleth, that in the night and in the day, for he is the one who heareth and knoweth all things. For to him what belongs, what is in the heavens and on earth and all human things and all beneath the soil. To him all in heaven and in earth. For those who are his, the presence are not too proud to serve him and that they are weary of his service. But we are reminded uh, that all things, animate and inanimate, in their own way, submit themselves to the glory of Allah. For there are many in the Quran, many verses in the Quran that talks about creation. Muslims believe that the uh, that the Quran establishes all things between creation and God, thereby sending a message that all are of the living, with respect to human connections to all living on earth. The privilege entails a profound responsibility. So to say that the Quran only talks about one thing, and by the way, when it does talk about violence, it talks about defending themselves against those who will perpetrate violence on their communities or their family. And aren't we all, aren't we all like that? Don't we all want to defend and care for what's ours, for what belongs, for our planet, for our families? for our spouses, for one another. Faith, and when you are talking about Islam, you are talking about faith. So as a religious person, I feel a profound obligation to defend my Muslim brothers and sisters, their right to being, their right, their right to worship the God of creation, their right to worship the God of their people, a God of love, and a God of justice. So Tommy, I challenge you, if you're man enough, since you're man enough to lie about others' humanity, you are man enough to debate someone who's done his work. Bring it, brother, you and I. Blessings to all of you.